Hi guys, this is Derp Nerd, and I want to discuss with you the new engine added to Kerbal Space Program, the Rapier engine, R-A-P-I-E-R. -E um, I'd like to point out its differences with the turbojet and the aerospike, uh, some of the most commonly used single stage to orbit craft, and why I don't think this is going to help more advanced SSTOs. You guys already saw me post a video about basic single stage to orbit craft, and it's a godsend to that because no longer do you require one of these and two of these to get to orbit. Three engines combined into one. Isn't it wonderful? Not really. <laughs> so we're going to look at the stats. First I'll point out the mass. Mass is 1.75. Um, so if we were to have three of these, that would be a mass of 4.25. 4.25? Five point two five, sorry. And if we would have two jets and a rocket, we would have two point four plus one point five. So that's three point nine versus five point two five. So the why am I using three of these in place of this and these two? It's mainly because of the thrust. Notice the maximum thrust on this engine is two twenty five in atmosphere. And the maximum thrust on the repair engine down at the bottom uh, is 190, and that's in atmosphere. So you're going to get less lift and less thrust out of these compared to a jet engine. Uh, where this comes in handy is where if you're going to an atmosphereless moon or planet such as the moon, um, it, you're going to really benefit from being able to switch between the in atmosphere mode and the out of atmosphere mode because you can have the same engine used for all purposes. Uh, from longer distance things, I don't think this is going to help. Uh, I'd like to point out the ISP for in space, it only goes up to 360. Uh, the aerospike is at 390 normally, so that's still way, that's way more efficient relatively. But as you guys know from my advanced tutorial, I like to use a nuke with a bunch of jets. And the repair engines aren't going to help me with any of those builds because the nuke has ridiculous efficiency, which is why I love it. It's, I only use one or two of them because it's very heavy. We all know it's 800 efficiency. Also low thrust. So it's good for landing on planets with atmospheres. Um, the repair engines, they're heavier. They're, they're almost as heavy as a nuke. They're only 0.5 mass less. And they have... Crazy lower, uh, crazy lower specific impulse uh, compared to if I wanted turbojet engines, they'll give me more thrust getting out of atmosphere. And then once I get mostly out of atmosphere, I just kick in my nuke and I shut off the jets. Uh, that's generally been my strategy with SSTOs, and uh, con will continue to be because I don't see these as really helping. Because once they're in space, I want to use the nuke, and these just don't have enough efficiency for me to have them on all the time. So it's more dead weight hanging around. So that's how I'm looking at the repair engines. Um, you can check out the basic SSTO tutorial, which I think I think that's the, the saving grace of this. It's it's wonderful for that stuff. You can combine a bunch of different engines and weighty parts into one engine. Um, so if you're just going to orbit or if you maybe I don't know, maybe this could get to the moon or Minmus. I bet it could get to Minmus. I'd almost guarantee it. But uh, it's just, uh, it's not going to be very helpful for advanced single stage to orbit craft. Uh, yeah, so that's about all I have to say. Uh, leave a comment on what you thought, on what your opinions are on this uh, new engine. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. You can follow me on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys around. Take care.